Hi friends, this is Loli. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing the tissue paper tour. In this collaboration, a group of creators get together and send each other tissue paper. Let me show you what I got. All right, guys. I got this package from Aurea, from DIY from Ar with Aurea. And I sent my package to Shawnee, I believe. Yes. And let's see. Let's try to be very careful that I don't cut into the tissue paper. So this is for the tissue challenge. And we are to send different kinds of tissues for each other. And we gotta create at least one DIY using some of those tissues. Some or all or whatever you like. All right, I love the little flower already. Oh yeah, very cute. And I love to read the cards first. Hello, Loli. I am so excited to uh, read. What? No, send. I'm sorry. To send you this little goosey, rosy. I'm sorry. I can't understand that. I can't wait to see what you are creating. DIY without you. Look a little, little smiley face. So stinking cute. Alrighty, let's see. Thanks, Aurea. Let's see what we're gonna. Oh, I can already see that she got me extra goodies on here. Aurea, you're spoiling me already. <laughs> All right, let me look at the tissues first, okay? And then we're gonna look at the bonus stuff. All right, I got these cute little buffalo check. Uh, plaid, not buffalo check, plaid. And I got these, which I love. I was planning to use these as well. I used them for a different DIY. So I'm glad she, got oh, goodness gracious. I love this. All right, this color this year, guys, this um, guava or coral, I mean, loving this color this year. It just brings me so much peace. So I might use that one, not sure yet. This one is really cute too. But I feel like this one is more wintry since it has like the pines and the little icicles and stuff. So I'm gonna leave that for a different DIY. Now this is really, really cute and happy. This one screams um, summer to me. So I might, ooh, I might use this one. I'm still inclined with this one cause that coral is screaming me, me, me to me. So I don't know. And the green one. I like the things, but I'm not sure how to use them. Maybe I can combine these two, do like a lemon team. I don't know. And some pink. These are lovely. Thank you, Aurea. Let's see what you spoil me with over here. Ooh. I just wish they were real though. Some wine bottles, some wine glasses, lovely. All right, guys, let's see what else we got here. I'm just gonna go one by one, I don't know. I hope I'm, oh, I love the, the Robin transfers. These are so cute. I haven't seen these in my Dollar Tree before. Thank you so much, Aurea, yeah, those are new to me. Oh my God, my son is gonna want these. So, so cute. Aurea, oh, yeah. come on, girl. You <laughs> You are spoiling me. Oh, you know I like jazz because of the songs in my thing. Okay, where you're hitting the camera, honey. I love jazz. I relax with a little glass of Mongolian mother and some jazz normally when I'm turning it off so I can record properly here. All right, guys, I'm gonna take these out and then I'm going to show you. Oh! <gasps> It's a stamp pack. I just bought a, some of these. I'm like, oh my God, I love that. Little frame stamps. Thank you, Aurea. This is really cute. Very cute. And then my daughter is doing um, scrap, not scrapbooking, the journaling. So I'm sure she's gonna probably wanna borrow those. This is really, really cute. I love these. I just bought a whole bunch of stamps at Dollar Tree that were just brand new. Look how cute, ooh. Oh my God, this is so stinking cute. <laughs> I love to do um, like cake, um, diaper cakes and stuff for showers. 
So these are gonna come in handy for that. Thank you, Aurea. Ooh, baseball, I always miss this one. Very cute. Thanks, Aurea, for the little sprinkle of, you know, love there. I appreciate it a lot. So I will see you guys as soon as I figure out what I'm going to make. And I guess you'll find out in a little bit. Bye. For the first project, I decided to use this planter and this tissue paper that Aurea sent me. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take some of my white paint and I'm going to completely cover the black planter. I did two coats of this. Once it dried, I took some of this tissue paper and I'm going to cut it into small sections. I just took a strip that wide as you see there and then I'm going to start attaching it after I cut it into smaller pieces on my planter there. I made sure to put the tissue up and above the lip of the planter to have a nice clean look and then I slowly tapped everything down while the Mod Podge was still wet. As I went I kept smoothing it down and getting rid of some of the wrinkles but if it was wrinkled in some parts I really didn't care. I want this to look sort of kind of rustic as well so I just kept going with the flow here. Once the first piece was down, I added some more Mod Podge to the side of that and I'm going to overlap it, overlap it slightly and I'm going to continue to do the same thing, making sure that the top of the paper is tucked underneath the lip and then slowly tacking everything down and I'm just adding a little bit more Mod Podge and that seam in which both the papers touch and then I'm putting Mod Podge over the paper so everything is nice and sealed. And I just continued the same process until it was completely done. Then once I got to the end, I'm going to slit all the bottom parts of the planter and I'm going to go ahead and add Mod Podge to the center and of the bottom there and add it all around the bottom and I'm going to be tacking all these papers down by just folding them forward until they completely cover the bottom of the planter. Now that the planter is nice and done, I'm going to go ahead and take some hot glue, put it at the bottom of my planter, and I'm going to be gluing in some floral moss. Then I'm going to take these oranges that I got from Dollar Tree, they were brand new this year, and I'm going to just trim the stems down, and then I'm going to just be very careful guys, see all this fly away, just be very careful that you don't hurt yourself with that. And here I forgot of course to take off the plastic, just take the plastic off of your floral foam and then I trim both these pieces making sure that they were pretty even because we're gonna turn this into one single tree so I added them close together but I wanted them to be spread apart just slightly so it would resemble more of a tree and not so much like just a stem of oranges there then I took some of this um, leftover package that I had from um, Amazon or something and I just wanted to stabilize the foam a bit and then I came in with some floral moss and I'm adding floral moss to the planter to fill in the gap there. Then I'm coming in with some of this um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree, it's orange polka dotted and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the rim like this. Once I knew how much I needed, I went ahead and cut it and I'm gonna tack the first end with a little piece of hot glue. Again, tucking the little end into the rim just to make sure that everything is nice and secure and also leveled and i just went around the entire area just making sure that i was still it still you know was enough and then i'm just adding a little bit of hot glue like towards the top of where the rim is there at small intervals so maybe up two inches apart of each from each other and as i did that i tacked the ribbon a little bit just make sure to use some protection for your fingers because they ribbon is burlap and it is easy for the glue to just seep through it just you know keep working slowly and but carefully and i just did that until i completely covered the entire circumference of the planter and there we go isn't that cute but i'm not done yet i'm gonna take some jute cord and i'm going to go ahead and wrap it above the ribbon that I just added on just make sure I have a, a length that is pretty good to have something dangle on it so I'm going to just go ahead and leave some room and I'm going to tightly double, double knot the jute onto the ribbon
Once I make sure that the jute curl was secured and even along the entire perimeter, I took some uh, one of the beaded garlands from the Dollar Tree that came during Easter and I'm going to just use a couple of the beads. I'm going to take one of the beads. First I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue in the end so I'm able to thread my beads in. And then I'm going to take a green bead that came from a different package. It's a multicolor from this year also. And then another um, orange bead. And I'm going to make a nice thick double knot so everything stays secure in place. And then I added a little bit of hot glue on the beads so everything stays in place. And I repeat in the same thing with the other string. But this string is going to be slightly longer than the previous one. My friends, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'm going to ask you to please hit that like button, subscribe, press the notification bell. All these things are free and they mean the world to me. All these actions bring positivity to my channel and they help me grow. And thank you so much for your support. And look how cute it looks. But I'm not done yet. We're going to use some of these chalk gourds from the Dollar Tree. I just removed the little hanger that they came with. And I'm going to take a popsicle stick and split it. And what I'm going to do is remove that, that little pin. And where that pin was, I'm going to attach the popsicle stick with a little bit of hot glue instead. We just created a little sign just like that. Then I took one of the um, paint markers from Dollar Tree in white. And I'm just going to go ahead and write on here, oranges, 25 cents. And I'm going to just go ahead and put it inside the dirt, though, right there where you see where the um, floor of moss is. I'm going to put it right in there. And there you go. So we're not done yet. We're going to add some jute cord as well to this. I just felt like, you know, where the beads are, we needed a little bow to like just make everything complete. So I just made a, you know, a, um, what do you call that thing? A jute cord bow. And I just um, make sure that it was nice and tight. Took off all of the edges because we didn't need any. The beaded garland will be the edges of this bow. And I just took a tiny bit of hot glue and I attach it right where everything was nice and knotted. And now guys, this is all complete. Look how adorable. You guys let me know how you like it. For the second inspiration project, I used one of the planters again from Dollar Tree, but I'm using instead this tissue paper as well. And I did the same thing that I did before. I just cut it into thick strips and then cut those thick strips into smaller strips. Now that the tissue paper is ready, I came in with my Mod Podge and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did before. Add a thin layer of Mod Podge or a medium layer, I should say, Mod Podge. And we're going to be attaching this onto the entire planter. Taking it in small sections and making sure that all the tissue paper is put down nice and flat against the entire surface. Again, not caring so much about the bubbles or anything like that. Just removing some, but not being too picky about the entire thing. What I do pay close attention to is to make sure to seal all the edges properly to make sure that this stays completely onto here. And here you see me how I finished sealing that part. And I'm going to be slitting the bottom section so I'm able to wrap this at the bottom of the planter as well. Then I took some Mod Podge, added it to the bottom section of my planter. Make sure that this is nice and saturated with Mod Podge. So I'm able to bring down the, the, all the tissue paper without any issues of it staying down. Now that the plant is dry, I took some floral foam and I'm going to glue it down onto the bottom of the planter. Then I took two of these um, stems that I got from Dollar Tree. They are lemon plants and I just cut off 
then excess there making them a bit shorter and I'm going to attach them onto the floral foam as well putting them close together to form a tree if you like to make this a little bit thicker you can use three of them I thought two was enough for me then I took some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree and I'm going to completely cover the floral foam with it making sure to have a nice layer on there and then I took some of this green ribbon from the Dollar Tree it's burlap and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it at the bottom of my planter there and just make sure I had enough got the piece that I needed and I'm going to go ahead and tack it on different places I started with one end I just added some hot glue to the top portion of the planter there and use it to attach the piece there and I just keep you know running my fingers down making sure to attach it giving it a little bit of time to dry but at the same time you want that to go through the holes a little bit just to give you a little bit more hold but just be very careful you don't burn yourself in this step it is quite easy as this is burlap and as you see the um, glue comes off really easy and can get onto your hands very easily so just be very careful take your time be safe and here you see me I just cut up a, a piece that was just extra that we didn't need and I'm tacking the last piece right there and you see that looks like a cute little skirt making sure everything is nice and even I tacked out the bottom as well and now I'm going to go ahead and take some jute cord and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it against again around the piece there where the green is at the higher portion of the ribbon here I'm going to make the both of the ends that are going to be dangling a bit longer than I did previously and I just make sure to hold it in place while I did the second knot so this will not slip off Then I just took the tails of my jute cord and I added a little bit of hot glue to the end and made sure it was nice and stiff and then I'm threading some of my beads onto there. I have decided to do one of each, a yellow one and then a green one and then another yellow one and then another green one. I did this with both sides leaving one size bigger than the other but just making sure to create in two knots that will allow the beads to not get out. And I just cut off the excess right there and I did the same thing with the other side of the jute as well. These yellow and green beads came from a package that came this year in the Easter section of Dollar Tree. I just separated these colors for these projects. Look how pretty that contrast. Then I took a jute bow and I went over and attached it to the union or the knot there of the jute course. And I realized, wait, I have ends here. I don't need these ends. So I just cut off the ends there, the two tails of jute, because we are going to use the ones that have the beads as the tails to that ribbon for that bow. And then I took another piece of those little chalk signs from the Dollar Tree took off the little clothing pin from it and I'm attaching a split piece of um, what do you call it craft stick to it and I attached lemons I wrote lemons 25 cents on there and there you go check out the final reveal guys I am completely in love with these I just wish I had some lines as well I am in the search for some lines so I can give do another one with the lime version let me know how you like it and which one of these will you make and if you find the lines will you make the line with the green tissue paper that i got i think that will look awesome look at these guys i am so in love with this this green summer thank you again for watching my people and be blessed be a blessing and craft responsibly if you would like to follow me on social media here are my social media links and as always, thank you again. Have an amazing day. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to go to the playlist. All right, guys. Bye.